Doctors at Primary Children's Hospital are co-leading a national study about a serious condition some kids get from COVID-19. For your life, your health, Heather Simonson introduces us to a Utah family who knows how devastating it can be. I'm going to win. You're going to win? She usually wins, huh? Playing Scrabble is one thing. Who's got to pee? Finding words for the condition that landed him in the hospital, quite another. I had pains in my leg, back, neck. A.B. Martinez got multi-system inflammatory syndrome, or MIS-C, last January, a month after a mild case of COVID. It just felt like I was, like, everything was draining from me. He became really irritated to light, sound. Um, he started developing fevers that we couldn't control. They just rushed him to the ER because everything, his organs were shutting down. You know, we were, we were gonna lose him. It typically occurs two to six weeks after the COVID-19 infection. Dr. Domnan Trong with Intermountain Primary Children's Hospital says about 0.03% of kids who get COVID get Miss C. While rare, it's serious. And that inflammation can affect various organ systems, including the heart, the gut, the blood system, the skin. Miss C is still a mystery, but doctors believe some kids' immune systems go into hyperdrive or they have a dangerous reaction to a protein in COVID. And it can even happen to kids with asymptomatic infections. Many kids don't even know that they had COVID-19 infection in the first place. Doctors say the best protection is the vaccine. Dang, bro, I'm good at Candy Crush. AB is doing well and recently got vaccinated. Because I didn't want it to happen again. He'll definitely choose the vaccine over being hospitalized again any day. Thankful the only pains he has to deal with now are his sisters. I would trade them for the world, even though they are annoying sometimes. For your life, your health. He's the best brother in the whole world. Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News.